Hello, my lunar loves. I pray to God that everyone is safe and sound. I pray to God that you guys have everything you need in these times. And I pray that you're having a wonderful full moon. Yes, I know that the full moon falls on May 7th. However, for me, the full moon is a celebration three days before and three days after the actual date of the full moon. I love it. My energy, I, I go I go one of two ways. Either my my intuitive um, my intuition picks up, and my connection to you know spirit just you know goes on the rise, or I get pretty like tired, emotional, sensitive, and I just want to sleep and be grumpy like a werewolf. <laughs> but um, you guys, I wanted to share something with you. Um, okay, so I purchased uh, most of these items. I just wanted to give a huge, 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 huge shout out to Josie, also known as Jojo from Pretty Spiritual Emporium. Um, she and I connected on Instagram not too long ago. Um, I was looking for this crystal right here. I don't know if you guys can see the rainbow hue. You know, I had asked her, I was like, you know, do you still have this crystal available specifically? I checked out her shop and it was just pretty amazing. I can't wait till she gets more um, stuff there. Um, you know, she's just beyond amazing. I just, I totally loved, uh, her professionalism, her energy. I mean, you know, when I give a shout out to somebody, I really mean it from the bottom of my heart. I would never, ever share something with you guys that I didn't believe in, or, you know, just because like, I really got to believe in it in order to share or, you know, like, uh, uh, be sponsored in any way. Always believe that please. And no, she's not sponsoring me. These are items that I, um, that I bought and you know she threw in a couple of extra goodies and it was just so sweet of her and you know she had already been so generous with me and just bestowed a little blessing upon me and you know in conversating with her I just I love how she was just so grateful for her own blessings you know especially during these times and you know like I said I really really vibed with her I really loved her energy and I just want to give a huge shout out to her she's just been so amazing um, I'm, I'm definitely going to check her shop out again. I want to buy some candles <laughs> and then whatever else, you know, she has, um, posted up there new, but look, this is her information here. You guys, please go check her out on Instagram. Okay. She's under pretty spiritual shop or, um, you know, her website's right there. Okay. So you could just check her out. Let my camera focus a little bit. Yeah, so Pretty Spiritual Emporium. Please, you guys, go check her out. I would never, ever, ever suggest someone that I didn't feel was genuine at that. But, you know, she was just so cute about the whole thing. You know, like I said, grateful. Grateful beyond grateful. And, you know, I just got some little Archangel incense sticks. And you know what? These are at a pretty good price, like no more than four bucks each. And I could tell there's like a lot in there. So that was pretty amazing. And she threw in some Palo Santo. And she threw in this little Zuchun keychain. It's so cute. And I'm going to need this because tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, I go back to work. Yes, I'm being called back in from the layoff from my work furlough. <laughs> so, um, you know, like I said, Jojo, thank you so much. I'm giving her the hugest shout out because she didn't have to be so sweet about it. And, you know, like I said, just go check her out. It doesn't hurt. And you know what? Just supporting, you know, little small business, um, you know, small business owners is just the, you know just the thing like I said she's just so amazing so amazing and um her crystals I bought this little selenite Washington tower and what I love this has happened to me twice now that I've like unboxed something but right when I opened the box I could already feel like an energy coming out and you know with me I know crystals are real when they start vibrating and that's definitely what I got from these definitely sorry for the smoke you guys it's the incense uh, <laughs> it just blew my way but yeah it was just so so cool she has reasonable prices i loved them this is the rose of jericho if you put this in water it blooms to be like beautiful like a rose i'm going to try it later but i really needed this um needed this in my um in my collection um with that being said you know it was so cute because she threw in like all these little fake dollars i thought it was just so cute like i saw one i'm like oh yeah it was like abundance i'm getting abundance sooner or later and um yeah just her vibe is all out awesome she's so sweet i mean just a grateful appreciative soul that i saw 
you know, spirit blessing sooner or later, you know, she's really going to get it and it's going to be super amazing. And I just wanted to give a huge shout out to her for being so kind, so awesome and just, you know, connecting with me, you know, in a time when I was just, you know, not feeling that great. Um, but yeah, she included her cards, candles and stuff. Like, like I said, dope. So if you want to, you know, look at a shop with someone who, you know, really deserves it, definitely check her out. I loved her. I mean, I love her energy. I love her shop. The crystals, I mean, they're just so cute, so amazing. And um, yeah, so with that being said, um, I'm also going to conduct a little reading. I'm going to get out the... Um, I'm going to start organizing the paws right now. You guys, please excuse my table. It's just a slight bit dirty from incense and stuff, but we got our plants in the background. And um, my sister and I are out here on the full moon just enjoying it. Um, for me, like I said, today's the full moon. So just bear with me. I'm just going to give a few general messages and um, we'll go from there. So hopefully you stay with me and you enjoy. Um, for all of you who... Um, who provided their feedback about last reading the quick details about your future spouse yes i wanted to get straight to the point timing you know just a general idea of looks um i believe i did complexion and body type i didn't really get into eye color or nothing but you know if that's what you guys want cool we can do it um i'll really break that down for you guys but as i said i'm going back to work really soon um, or tomorrow at that so you know i'm really going to try and like fit it in with my schedule again and you know I don't know, this whole work for low thing just totally opened my eyes to like a whole new way of thinking. <laughs> you guys, my essential workers out there, um, God bless you guys. You know, you guys are really doing it. And, you know, I pray for your safety every day for you guys who have actually been affected by, you know, a layoff in your company, whatnot. Enjoy this time with your family. Definitely enjoy this time. Um, my only regret is that I spent my time whining when I was bored from not working and I could have enjoyed my family more. And just when I started enjoying, you know, me being home and really putting my time to use, I get called in. So <laughs> I think spirit is just saying, just be grateful for, you know, whatever, um, whatever position I put you in. But I know great things are coming for all of us. And, you know, May is going to be an awesome month, you guys. So believe it. And manifest it most definitely so i'm going to get to organizing the piles and um i will see you uh, as soon as i get them ready hello my lunar loves so today's or tonight's messages are going to be general messages under the full moon so this is whatever is going to come to uh, come through the cards and you know it could be general it could be your career it can be love we're just going to see what messages want to come out. So I don't have a specific focus. It's just general messages under the full moon. Today, Spirit called me out to do five piles. So you guys have an extra option from the usual. Um, okay, so you can choose from one of the five here. So the first pile is here, and it's this pink money bill. <laughs> that um jojo sent with her um <laughs> with the package pile number two is the selenite selenite okay pile number three is the ten thousand dollar bill imagine if this if these were real oh my god i'd go shopping galore pile number four is the clear quartz Pile number five is the citrine stone, citrine keychain, okay? So choose one, choose all, but as always, please only take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? And with that, I will see you at your pile. Alrighty, so for those of you who chose pile number one, this pink um, money bill, <laughs> whatever it is. If you guys know the name of this, let me know, please. I'm really interested to know. Um, okay. So let's see here. And I'm sorry about the view, guys. Okay, I'm working with what I can outside. Let's see here. Okay, oh, okay, I get it. Okay, so your general message is under the full moon. I believe this has to do with some kind of theft of money or maybe like obstacles regarding like um, obstacles regarding money and things that you need to take care of before they blow up financially and blow up in a negative way. I feel like, um, 
I don't know if maybe one of you out there experienced like identity theft or something of the sort. Maybe like you were expecting some money, it got taken in some way. And I feel like you, I feel like you're really trying to go about it like in a legal way and trying to get justice and get that money back as soon as possible. Um, yeah, something's going on with um, regards to money. With regards to money. And you know what? I will say that good news is coming very soon, but be vigilant. Stay 10 steps ahead of the game. Communicate as much as you can. I don't know if maybe you have an attorney or you got a representative of some sort or um, you need to stay on top of things though. I feel like uh, don't take any shortcuts or easy way out. Don't expect, um, don't expect things just to resolve on their own, okay? I really feel like spirit is really calling for you to take action and in you taking action, spirit will see that you will do as much as you can for yourself and spirit will bless you more with uh, good news. I, I really feel like you're getting some type of communication though and I really feel like it's favorable or you're getting very, very wise advice about a certain person or something of the sort. What you know, this message is very specific for one of you out there. Specific, excuse me, I can't talk today. <laughs> um, I really feel like you're getting some communication. I don't know if you're in a court case or something with someone or you're in some kind of money dispute with someone. And I feel like I feel like you're getting communication from like a family member or friend letting you know that person's next move. And so with this, I feel like, you know, you'll know their next move. You see, like you. OK, look, I don't know. Hold on just a moment. <laughs> Bear with me, you guys. You see. The Page of Swords is an immature little shit. And that's all I'm going to say, like. They have no chill. They don't care who they're hurting. They're just going to benefit themselves, you know. And when it comes to swords, you know, like with words, like they might tell you something that bothers you or they might, you know, I really feel like this is like a battle of like money being stolen from you and then somebody like straight shoving it in your face. And what I'm getting here is like, you know, if this person tries to come at you, you're going to be so on top of your game that you're like ready. Look, she, the Queen of Swords looks like she's holding like a loaded gun. So she's all like, I, you know, I know they're coming from left field, but guess what? I'm ready for him. Bring it on. So, yeah, I feel like I feel like here, you know, you have experienced some type of obstacle or setback from somebody stealing money or like an idea or something. I feel like your finances are really in question right now. Like you're really like trying to figure out like, what am I going to do now? Like what's next? And, you know, but if you haven't already start taking necessary precautions, start um, going about the matters um, legally. Okay. Just dot every I cross every T and make sure everything gets done. Do not procrastinate. I'm getting a very strong message of um, do not procrastinate. For some reason here, though, the yellow is dominant in the bill. I And I don't even know why I'm looking at that for any type of messages. But I really feel like joyous times will be had. I feel like this will be very unexpected. But you need to chase this happiness. You need to chase it and claim it as your own, if that makes sense. So if you want to see justice of any sort from something that was stolen from you, you need to take matters into your own hands, but be very, very... Um, legal about it okay so don't go fighting anyone but yeah just take just take whatever necessary steps you need to okay um and i could already hear you know most of the courts are closed but you know if you can start with the police report if you can you know start taking just just step by step all you have to do is one step at a time come up with a good strategy and you will find a way but i feel like you're already on top of your game with that i feel like you know you're just wise overall i feel like you have a lot of protection here um Okay, I get it. Okay, so I feel like, you know, one, I feel like luck is on your side. Two, I feel like good times will still be had. Um, I feel like, you know, like I said, whatever communication you are getting, it's going to make everything turn out in your favor. So yeah, messages are definitely coming. And 
whatever you are thinking or whatever strategy you are thinking of at this moment, whatever idea you had to actually come up on this and come out the winner, I feel like your intuition is very, very correct. So do not doubt yourself for one minute, okay? I feel like everything's going to be okay. Hold on, I just, I was called to pull out one more card, okay? Just bear with me. Yeah, see the emperor. Yeah, so I feel like overall you're just going to come into your power and you're just going to know better and you're you're just I mean just you're going to have something excuse me, you're going to have something to celebrate. Okay. Oh. Look, you can't make this up, okay? The card flew right out. You cannot make this up. You got the sun card that just turned over on its own. Look, that's the sun. And like I said, I feel better times will be had. Everything's going to be okay. Look at that. A yellow again. Yellow is a dominant color. So please look up any archangels that have the color yellow. Do, do you know any? Any come to mind? I want to say Chamu, but I could be wrong. Or it's like a pale it's gold. I think that one's green though. I don't know. Look up any archangels. Thank you, Mia. Um, look up any archangels where their color, the dominant color is yellow. Um, work with your solar plexus, okay? And just listen to binaural beats. Um, let me see here. Yeah, listen to binaural beats, listen to mantras, whatever you believe in, or do simple meditations and exercises to um, cleanse, balance, and strengthen your solar plexus chakra. But I feel like yellow is your color. I feel like beautiful times are going to be had. There's going to be a positive outcome to this entire thing. So... That's okay, me. I pulled the chair out. Um, so don't be don't be fearful. Okay, don't worry. Just do what you need to do, though. Okay. Again, do not procrastinate. Do not expect the situation to resolve itself. Okay. And I feel like no matter what, you are already on top of your game, and you're doing everything that needs to be done. Okay. You're taking charge of the situation, and you are not letting whoever this person is, whoever did you um, wrong. I really feel like, you know, you're really going to turn it around on them. And um, you're really going to come out the winner in the situation. So don't stress anymore. I feel like this full moon marks things turning in your favor. Okay. So Paul, number one, that was your reading. Very short, very sweet. Whatever's going on, I'm going to pray for you guys. Please don't stress anymore. Everything's going to be okay. I promise. Okay. And with that, take care. God bless. Bye. Hello, pile number two. For those of you who chose the Selenite Tower, okay, this is your reading. Okay, let me see here. Alrighty. Right away, what I was looking at was the leadership Zeus and King of Wands. And you have the Six of Wands right here. So no matter what's going on, okay, I feel like the first message that came out, though, um, was not to be too hasty and jump into things, okay? If you're bothered by something at work, just wait. Just wait and allow things to turn to your favor, okay? Just hear me out. What I feel is that you are up for a leadership position. You are going to be promoted. What I feel here is that, you know, you've really handled yourself in a way that's very, I don't know, professional. Maybe you've really put time and effort into a situation or a job and I feel like your dedication has been has been noticed okay um I don't know if maybe you're in some kind of um position where you go in I don't know if it's maybe sales or I don't know if maybe you work in some type of business where you got to go in and um because this is Shiva destroyer so hang on let me see here you know what hang on let me pull out some extra cards. General messages under the full moon for pile two. That one doesn't want to come out. Hang on, you guys. Okay, why did that? Okay, well, if it came out reverse, I'll read it that way. I was shuffling the deck in reverse, though, so my bad, you guys. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, so let me see here. So yeah, I feel like there's something that's really been bugging you and I feel like it might be on the career field, but you apply it to your situation as you see fit, okay? I feel like, you know, I don't know if somebody is trying to like bait you, meaning like they're trying to feed you like some kind of, um, they like feed you remarks or something 
and you just kind of get pissed off by the whole thing and you know th- what they want to do is kind of show your boss that maybe you're like um, maybe emotionally unstable that you might blow up you have a quick temper and that you don't deserve this promotion but I feel like no matter what I oh, I got it I don't know if maybe like um, you kind of just stay quiet and allow them to just keep it up or maybe you kill them with kindness Uh, have you ever heard of that kill them with kindness you know someone's like you know oh you know um let's just say john you know um you didn't turn in this report you know what's wrong with you you had a lot of time and you just kind of turn around and you're just like you know i'll finish it it's fine i hope you have a great day or like you know maybe you work in a field in sales or i don't know maybe i heard like litigation right now Um, even if it's just in customer service in general, I feel like you take a lot of crap from customers and clients and maybe from some teammates, but you know how to handle yourself. You know how to, you know how to kind of just hold back. Okay. So even if you feel like blowing up, I know these are hard times. Don't blow up. Just take in a breath, balance your emotions. Okay. If you have to just excuse yourself, go for a five minute walk and just kind of watch yourself. Okay. Because like I said, I feel like your dedication and your composure is really being um, noticed by someone from a higher position than you. And like I said, you're definitely up for a promotion. Um, I feel like for just one of you out there, this is quite the opposite where maybe you did kind of lose your shit. You seemed imbalanced. And I feel like, you know, if you were in a leadership position or if you were up for it, it has already run its course. And I feel like it's either going to be taken from you or, you know, you might have to go through some training to kind of, you know, um, you might have to go through some training to kind of... um, how to handle your emotions better if that makes sense i know there's some programs like that okay but look don't give in to anyone who's trying to bait you don't give in to anyone who makes a nasty remark about you okay you have to remember that's their problem if they have a problem with you just do your work okay even if they're laughing at you if they're talking about you, guess what? You're you're doing a great thing, obviously. Um, even if they call you worthless, guess what? You're worth something because they had to take time out of their day to, <laughs> to make that statement about you, okay? So the best thing to do is laugh it off. You've got to laugh it off, okay? Laugh it off and keep doing your thing. Um, And I feel like news is coming very soon about traveling. I don't know if like you're going to get a promotion or get like reinstated or you're going to get a position at your job where you have to travel. Okay, you have to do something Um, just overall, though. Just remember, be dedicated to your own cause. Um, always take leadership in the situation. So if you don't like something or you want to see something change, you need to be that change. You need to take that step to change. Um, and yes, I know. So it's just like I said, I really feel like someone's like poking at you or someone's really trying to get under your skin. But you need to maintain your composure. You need to just not blow up on them. Just don't don't give in to that, okay? Because I feel like it's just this person is just like, I feel like they're a little shit or something. I don't know why. Like, I feel like they're so imbalanced themselves. Like, misery loves company. That's what I keep hearing. Misery loves company. So if they're in a bad mood, it's like, you know, maybe they try to, like, bring you down with them. So, you know... I don't know. It's just who is this person? Hang on. Okay. I don't know if this person is like a Sagittarius type energy, like maybe they're loud or something. I don't know. Maybe um if this is a person at your work, this is a person who is well traveled. If not, they must have like Sagittarius in their chart somewhere. And like I said, I just feel like they just say things to like get a rise out of you. So don't allow them to do that, please. Um, yeah, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, ooh, Sagittarius, now I get it. <laughs> this message is very specific for someone out there, but you take it you take the message how it resonates okay i feel like there is someone around you who is very very imbalanced who says things just to be an ass and get a rise out of you 
don't allow them to do that okay i think you just need to st stick t don't allow them to get under your skin because what they're doing is they are making you stray from like any creative projects or any good ideas that you have i feel like you know i feel like like you see it's the night and like he's he's facing the king of pen uh, the king of wands okay the knight of wands is facing the king of wands so i feel like this is also about growth i feel like you're trying to grow and with wands wands is spiritual for me um i feel like you're trying to grow spiritually but there's just someone holding you back like um <laughs> i feel like you know if you're trying to get your emotions in check and you're trying to um if you're trying to keep your emotions in check, maybe not blow up. Maybe you've been meditating. Maybe you've been, um, you know, I feel like you've just really, really tried to work on yourself. You're trying to destroy anything negative in your life that has brought you down in the past. But there's just someone who keeps trying to get a rise out of you and you just feel like you're falling back. But no, that is growth. OK, so just remember, just kind of just kind of um, take a breather. Don't allow them to get a rise out of you and just move on about your day. The best laughter is medicine. And I feel like you're going to be the best laughter is medicine. The best medicine is laughter. Excuse me. Um, excuse me. There's a helicopter going past you guys. I'm outside. Like I said, I wanted to do these readings under the full moon. So excuse me. Alrighty. Okay. So it's going back. Um, so yeah, don't allow this person to get a rise out of you anymore. Like I said, strong Sagittarius energy. I feel like there's some kind of imbalance. So maybe they might have like some kind of like, um, twin sign in their zodiac so maybe like a pisces or gemini no i'm not calling you guys imbalanced but when you guys are unevolved you guys are a different story like you guys can just be one way one minute and then another way the next and i really feel like this is strong imbalanced energy as such so i'm not trying to offend anyone you guys just you know like i said just point blank is stay in your mental space just stay at peace and don't give in to anyone who is trying to you know, um, give you a bad day or anything of the sort. Okay. Um, with that being said, just remember you are coming to the end of a cycle. I feel like you're, you're coming to a completion of something. I feel like you're going to be very, very victorious in something like you're really going to look back and you're going to be like, Oh my God, all of that worry, all of those tears, all of that for nothing. You're just come, you're, you're coming back into a balanced state of being. And I feel like um, this is either something that you haven't experienced for a long time, or this is going to be the first time in your life that you actually feel at peace and peace with yourself. And you're actually doing what you want to do. And you're actually just in love with this moment in time, like your present moment in time, I should say. So yeah, don't give up. You're almost there. Your ultimate test is this person who just keeps trying to bring you down. Okay. But I feel like you're really coming into your own you're really going to get the courage and strength to just start doing what you know needs to be done so you can grow and you can move on but again I feel like you're going to have a big opportunity for travel okay so you're going to get news about that very soon don't delay don't be discouraged don't be scared just do it okay Alrighty, and pile number two that was your reading thank you so much for sitting with me through that and take care god bless all right bye Hello, number three, for those of you that chose the $10,000 bill with glitter, <laughs> this is your reading. Okay, let's see here. Okay. You have two eights in here, okay? You have strength, which you can also be 11 in the some of the more traditional tarots, but you have the eight of pentacles as well. Um, let me see here. What's going on? Mm, okay so look I feel like I feel like with this full moon you're not taking full advantage of it um if you are watching this reading I really hope you take this message to heart and do what needs to be done what I'm feeling here is like you're bored with life you're bored and you're discontent like you're just like what's next or like any I feel like something's going on around you where you're not really appreciating the moment and I feel like, um, I don't know, like, I feel like you're being presented with an opportunity of sorts. It's not the opportunity you want. So you're just like, oh, I don't see any importance in it. So I'm just not going to take it. 
And like I said, with hypnos, which is sleep over this card, I feel like, you know, you're really just, like I said, you're sleeping your days away or something. Don't take offense to that, please. I just feel like you're not putting like, you're not putting work and effort into something that you can work hard at and be, it's a type of skill. So I don't know, like maybe it's a hobby. Maybe it's an actual skill that you went to school for. Um, something of the sort though, something that you're afraid to bring out to light. Um, or like, I feel like you're not getting a quick start like you want. Like, I feel like if it's a skill, like let's just say a uh, painting, I love painting. <laughs> let's just say that you're selling your paintings and, um, somebody's just making like, just an offer. That's not something that you would expect. Like you want to sell your paintings for like 50 to a hundred dollars and they're only making like a $10 offer <laughs> something of the sort like you're not taking them up on it but what I'm getting here is that you need to start small and start building yourself up start networking okay um bless others as you want to be blessed you know if you want to be blessed with success bestow a blessing upon someone okay I mean what with the message that you need to draw a fine boundary over, you know, someone taking advantage and someone that you're actually blessing. Um, so yeah, I, I feel like you're really good at um, sniffing people out like that, though, so to speak. But, um, you know, if let's just say there's, you know, a kid or another artist who wants to swap uh, artwork or something, um, or whatever the sort, you know, wants to swap out skills or whatever, you know, do do it, you know, do it. And I feel like, you know, you're going to start building up um, a networking clientele that way. And I feel like this will definitely lead you to success. But don't just refuse offers just because you're not interested or they're not what you want. Okay, you, you know, placing a value on yourself and knowing your worth is definitely something that is good. I mean, you know, um, that that's a good thing so that, that I'm not telling you just you know settle for whatever don't settle but I feel like just a moment interesting 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 hold on just a moment okay perfect that's what I was looking at I was like, I was, okay, perfect. So you have the, these are not even on camera. My bad, you guys. Alrighty. So what I'm getting here is that you already know what needs to be done. You already know that you're missing out on a lot of good opportunities, okay? Follow your intuition. I feel like with this full moon, I feel like your intuition is definitely open and charged. I feel like you know what move to make. You know what decisions uh, that are right for you and that just kind of, you know, are not so great for you, okay? Okay. But do not lose faith. Just jump on the opportunity. I feel like there's going to be an opportunity that looks like someone might be, um, I don't know, like I, I feel like you don't have a lot of faith in the person or something, but this person is actually going to be quite beneficial to you in some way or another, okay? And just, just remember, appreciate the blessing, even if it's just a compliment, even if it's, you know, just a pat on the back, please just appreciate it. And I feel like spirit will bless you even more. But I feel like you're manifesting something, you're manifesting something into your future, something that you want to see happen. And I feel like, um, you know, if it comes to a skill or a trade or something, I feel like you're finally putting it to use, you're going to work hard at it. And this is going to bring you like maybe like a peace of mind when it comes to work. Like, you know, it's not going to feel like work anymore. It's going to feel like you're having fun. I feel like, um, you know, you're going to be experiencing like a lot of the message is ecstasy, but it's just like good times where you don't need to where you don't need to worry about anything for quite a while. Like, I feel like money is going to be good. Finances will just definitely be great. Like, you're not going to like you know, rack up high bills or anything. I feel like family is going to be harmonious. Um, your connections are going to be real. There's not going to be any, um, 
there's not going to be any superficiality or anything of the sort and i just feel like blessings are just going to pour from anywhere but just remember fake it until you make it okay i mean i know that message can be taken in a negative way but shape shifting i feel like you know just fake it until you make it you know there are some people that you do not want to work with okay maybe that's what you're kind of like refusing okay um there are some people you don't want to work with but just remember to remain professional remember to you know remember that you're doing this to up your business that you're doing this to up your success okay and just kind of go from there like i was watching um a youtuber the other day when she was talking about you know i knew this other youtuber was um or I think it was on Twitter, you know, this person was, you know, retweeting me and talking all this shit, but you know, I'm there at work and I'm not going to, you know, just confront her right there, you know, so I feel like that's kind of the message here, like remain professional. If it's with like a family member that can assist you in some way, just remain cordial and, you know, just take it from there, okay? On the daily, we deal with customers and people that we don't really like, but we have to remain professional in order to get our coin, to get our money. So, you know, just, you know, a little goes a long way. Just breathe, smile, fake it till you make it and get through your day. And you'll see that that day, you know, turns into a week, a week turns into a month. And then before you know it, your success is there right before you, okay? But yeah, if you have a certain skill or a trade, please do not put it to sleep. Work hard at it, okay? Do not, um, just because you're bored or just because, you know, something's not going your way, don't feel like, you know, you don't have to invest any more time into it. Keep investing your time and remember, have fun. Remember, you're doing what you love or something of the sort, okay? You take the messages how they resonate. Alrighty, so pile number three, uh, that was your message. Yeah, I was just seeing if, nah. Okay, so I was just trying to see if there was another message, but no, we're good. Alrighty, so pile number three, thank you so much for sitting me with that, uh, sitting with me through that, excuse me. Take care, God bless, and I'll see you later, okay? Bye. Hello, pile number four, for those of you who chose the clear quartz. Alrighty, so you're reading, wow. <laughs> I was, I'm really amazed because the past three piles were not about love at all. Like, these are like messages of like taking action and work and so on and so forth. Um, what I'm getting here is you're going to get some kind of like trouble or message through friends. I feel like if you're a parent, I feel like you're going to have trouble with some kids. Who's not having trouble with kids right now? <laughs> right? <laughs> with this, with this quarantine, it's just like, wow these kids are really really testy let's see here yeah i feel like there's just like um there's some type of like chaos going on around you i mean you can't really get anything to settle down i feel like um you know the card is anger and rage so maybe it's just really inflicting that it um within you and what i feel is like you know you, you're right now you're feeling like you know oh i've had to make too many sacrifices and what about me you know and i really feel like you need to take time out for yourself because i feel like you can be like a ticking time bomb where you're holding everything inside i feel like you know you want to work on your hobbies too you want to work on your career and you want to come into your own but i feel like you're always self-sacrificing for other people around you and these people don't really return the favor i feel like you know these whoever's around you they're always like in some type of trouble or dilemma um they always want your ear you know to like listen and comfort them they always want you to be their shoulder to cry on but they don't really return that friend that friendly favor or you know they just don't return you know that kindness at all so like when you're going through something you're pretty much on your own and i feel like you're definitely opening your eyes up to that you know very soon with this full moon i feel like you're really starting to take a stand on your own and i really feel like you're going to if you haven't already i feel like you're going to start cutting people out of your life who just seem to bring you down um yeah it seems like it seems like people around you take your kindness for weakness 
And they don't truly appreciate the person that you are. Instead, they just keep taking, 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 whether it's your finances, whether it's your energy, it's your happiness. They just keep taking until there's nothing left of you. And, you know, when you want to take that time out for yourself and you're just like, not today, I can't talk to you today. I feel like they kind of try to switch it on you and they'll just be like, well, why are you having an attitude? Why are you being, you know, this and that? And I thought you were my friend. It's okay, though. You need to draw back boundaries stop stop sacrificing so much of yourself and your time okay that's the big message here and I feel like you are doing that and I feel like it's and this is a message in another reading I can't recall it right now but I feel like you know these people are being revealed to you like it's being a it, spirit is like really pointing out to you like hey this person's no good that person keeps taking too much of your energy you need to let that person go and I know it's hard but I feel like you're going to do it this is for like the betterment of your energy and your your spirit your soul let's see here and i feel like it can heavily be financial too yeah if you find someone just kind of coming around like hey you know i'm really low on cash i'm really going through something no one's helping me and like they kind of expect you to help you know just kind of tell them you know i can't help you i'm sorry i don't know what you expect of me but if you want to vent your problems fine but you know like kind of take control with that just a little bit if they stick around as your friend they're a true friend and if not you know there's your answer this card came out into reverse um seven of swords so yeah i feel like it's just more of like um robbing your energy robbing your happiness robbing your peace of mind and you know i really feel like you know you need to put a stop to this and i feel like you are yeah see it's next to the four of swords so that's your inner peace that's like you meditating you know like just a moment here i have a helicopter going overhead Jeez. i live by a few military bases <laughs> so they go back and forth okay sorry about that guys Okay, so um, with this, okay, so yeah, I feel like somebody's robbing you of your mental peace, your inner peace and your mental energy. Don't allow them to do that anymore, okay? I feel like if you allow them to continue like taking your mental peace, I feel like, you know, you're going to have to, you're going to make yourself physically sick. So, and you know, this can work in the way of also stressing for someone else who has problems. Allow that person to go through their own issues and deal with it in their own way okay if that makes sense allow this person to you know um face the consequences of their own mistakes or their own actions and keep living your life if you stress for them it's not going to make it any better for them okay i know that sounds wrong but it is what it is and if it is trouble with kids all i can say is you got to let your kids learn the hard way i mean if they're not learning from what you've taught them, if they're not learning the first time around, they have to learn eventually. And if anything, you're doing them a favor. Um, you know, so if, you know, and I don't, I don't mean any offense with it. We all have our own parenting style. But, you know, when it comes to kids, teenagers and all that, I mean, sometimes we make, you know, we were all that age and, you know, most of us have made some pretty crappy decisions. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, allow them to face the consequences and only help so much. Do not allow them to keep draining you of your energy because you will make yourself physically sick. You will probably end up in the hospital. So please, please, please take that to heart. But again, I feel like um, something's going to happen, okay? Like some type of judgment's going to be revealed or some kind of karma's coming into place something of this sort i mean i feel like it's more someone um someone is looking out for you or you're taking a step back and you're balancing yourself out and i feel like you're going to have some type of renewal and rejuvenation i feel like um you know you're really going to kind of just have enough you're going to step back and you're going to be like no i need to take time for me because i just feel myself being drained i feel myself you know on the verge of a nervous breakdown yes that's the message i got okay Okay, so just kind of be gentle with yourself and don't feel bad if you need to just get away. I know right now we can't really travel, but if you can just, 
you know, get to where you can have some inner peace, whether that's at a beach that's reopened or maybe it's a drive around town. Do what you need to do, though, okay, and stop taking on everyone else's problems as your own. Yeah, but I feel like all in all, you're going to be in a better place soon. Okay, so the full moon's basically, um, the energy of the full moon is just trying to make you stand up for yourself. And it's trying to help you take back your energy, take back your power. And, you know, not to make everyone else's problems your own, if that makes sense, okay? Alrighty, so pile number four, that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for sitting with me through that. Take care. God bless you, okay? Bye. Hello, pile number five. For those of you that chose the citrine keychain, this is your reading. Oh my God, this is so cute. This is so beautiful. Um, the other four piles are a little too heavy um, <laughs> with this full moon. I feel like this... Um, fifth pile is strong manifestation like you guys are finally reaping in what you've put so much energy into um, especially if it comes to manifesting um, I don't know maybe you've kind of like sat there and like you know daydreamed your whole future or you just knew something great was coming and I feel like this is it when I first laid out these cards I feel like if you're in acting if you're in modeling if you're in some type of entertainment where you have to show your face i feel like someone is discovering you okay and i hardly ever get these messages someone is discovering you though they see beauty and perfection in something that you do and i feel like you know this is the pile where you're going to be presented with an opportunity of travel to do what you love doing okay i feel like messages are coming very very fast and very very soon and I feel like this is going to be very beneficial. It's going to bring you a lot of money, okay? But I am getting a slight warning, okay? Do not, do not focus on the material aspect of things, okay? If they're offering you a lot of money for doing something, don't sell yourself short, okay? Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I feel like there's something a little superficial about it. But I feel like if you hold, if you stand your ground and hold true to your beliefs, you will be successful. Otherwise, I feel like you're going to get caught in a web of like, um, just doing what, doing what you love, but not truly being happy. Does that make sense? Like, um, like I said, this pile, I'm getting strong, like model type or, you know, something that you're doing that you're in the public eye, model acting, singing, something of the sort, but it has to do with your looks. I feel like if you're being discovered, you know, maybe this person comes to you and they're like, well, you need a nose job and you need to lose some weight. So you're going to go on this, um, this new diet pill drug and, you know, don't sacrifice your happiness like that. Okay. You're not, man or woman male or female you're not a piece of meat you're not you're not you know you got to be you you really have to be you and stand true to yourself okay just remember that um regardless though i feel like you know you're going to ha be having you know something to celebrate very soon and like i said this is something that you love doing okay if this doesn't resonate what i feel here is that you're finally discovering yourself and what you truly want. I feel like you're starting to see the beauty in life and you're starting to see that even with your imperfections, you are perfect. I feel like you you have a strong opportunity again to travel and I feel like this is going to be with friends. Um, you might think that you don't have the finances to do so, but I feel like you might be getting messages of like getting money. I know like a lot of us got the stimulus in the US. Um, Maybe someone's going to lend you the money or something of the sort. Um, but yeah, I feel like, you know, you're going to get to travel. You're going to get to travel and you're going to get to have fun. You're going to get to like let loose for once in your life or once, you know, for this time in a long time that probably you've been like in quarantine or something of the sort. Now, I feel like you might meet someone and i don't really feel this devil card is toxic but i feel like you're going to meet the devil dick if you're a woman or a guy who likes guys but yeah you're going to meet someone who just really 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 attracts you sexually like you're going to meet someone that you cannot keep your hands or your mind off of okay they might even like spark a little something toxic within you 
and nothing too drastic though but I feel like it can definitely be like a soulmate type of connection so just have fun with it and see where it goes don't have like any high expectations and like I said don't change for anyone just be yourself and enjoy life and see the beauty for what it truly is okay And I feel like you might be traveling to like a childhood home or childhood town or something like that. Okay, or maybe somewhere you always wanted to go as a child. You let me know how that resonates because pile number five was just so amazing. <laughs> Alrighty, so you guys, thank you so much for sitting with me through that. I love you guys so much. Take care and God bless you during these interesting times. And again, don't forget to think of what you really want to manifest during this uh, full flower moon, okay? Again, I love you guys so much, all right? Bye.